Who's cutting onions, guys? Cool, let's go. Yo, what is up, everyone? Welcome to our first playthrough of Venba. I'm really excited to play this because this is, um, I think it's like kind of Indian cooking mama, I guess. It seems really, really good. So I'm excited to play. And plus, it's a super short game. So we can hopefully just like complete it all right here, right now. Oh, why is it so loud? Jeez. There we go. Options. Whoa, you can even see like the resolution get clearer as I upped it. That's pretty cool. Uh, do we want to play with a controller? Mm, it should be fine. Radio. Recipes. I think we just start. Think well before you dare and never ruminate once in action. I was about to say, I hope they translate that because I have no idea how to read that. This game won quite a few awards. I say a few. I can't remember which ones. But I saw it won a BAFTA, I believe. Yeah, the art style is gorgeous. They added Sea of Thieves to PlayStation. Hell yeah, love that. Leaving already? Ayo, sorry. Did I wake you? What time is it? Eight. How are you feeling? Tired, nauseous. Oh, I love how smooth this is. Tired. I saw it yesterday. Ah. Okay, I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There was some leftover Id idli batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. Oh my god. This game is going to make me really hungry. I already feel it. You can steam some Id... I'm also probably butchering the, the names of these. Idlis? Idlis? Quickly? I don't know if I can figure that all out. It's okay. I was just about to leave. It's just Idlis. Very easy. It'll take me too long, Vember. Don't worry. I can just survive on the coffee machine. Every adult ever. Apart from me, though. Fine, I'll make it then. Wait five minutes. Vember, really, it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyways. Just tell the school I'll be done in a minute. Okay. Why is that a plane on a blanket? Venba. We did not look great. Okay, let's get this done fast. Although... Should I try my mother's recipe for once? The way I make idlis are never as soft as hers, and they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. I should just make them her way today. Hmm. If the recipe is still readable, that is. Damn, we look so miserable. Oh god. <laughs> Idli plate towel cooker. Uh, water and batter. Holes to let steam through. These also have holes so batter can cook. Make sure to blank or it will leak. Arrange plates so steam can cook better properly. Well then. Hmm. I've not made Idli with these kind of plates before. The only difference from mine seems to be the holes on the plates. The recipe also calls for towels, not sure why. But Ama swears this method makes her idlis a lot softer. So we probably need a towel like underneath each one. No point putting a plate without batter in the cooker. Oh, right. Wait, what else did we need? 
Tal and Kuka. These also have holes to batter can cook. Make sure to probably, uh, I don't know, put the towel underneath. Arrange plates so steam can cook better properly. Like that, I guess. Wait, shouldn't I put the water in first? Anyways, it is what it is. I think you put a towel in between. I don't think I should cover better with the towel. Well, what do you do with the towel then? <laughs> Oopsie, I need to the card. I'm being dumb. That is not what I wanted to do. Can we not take it out? I'm not sure how to do this. How can I take it out? Hey. This is not going to work out. I want to take it back out. Rip. Well, let's just go for it. I should close the lid before turning on the stove. This is not gonna go well. All right, let's see how it turns out. It's gonna leak all over the place. That should be long enough. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. Seems a batter leaked through the plate holes and spilled everywhere. Let's try again. Okay, at least you get to try again. Last time I added the batter like this, batter leaked through the tiny holes. I should try something different. Maybe the towel would... That's literally what I wanted to do for... Oh, right. You put the towel first. Uh, I say that. And rotate it again before I mess up. Kill. Now put the water in, lid on, turn it on, and it'll be perfecto. Ah, it's done. Nice, Sue. Please feel better. I need cooking to make me feel better too. Oh, those look so good. Hi, Spoon. How are you? Oh, wow. You even took the time to make our faces. I think you forgot about my beard, though. Please. You really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband can't figure out Idlis. Ben, but I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skipped lunch once. Pavalan. Pavalan. You're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. And even if I had let you leave... I can sleep peacefully. I'd feel too guilty. I know I shouldn't, but... You know I would. It is so hard for you. Is it so hard for you to cook even on days like this? You're right, sorry. Did you look for tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. So, do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss, boss again if he can make me full time. But unless the school gives me more shifts, or my boss changes his mind, it's going to be a tough to stay in Canada. You know there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. And there's nothing really keeping us here. That would be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave it with me for now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. I know, I'm sure all I need is some sleep. You've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. <laughs> That's such a rubber, Americans. Doctors are free here.
Oh, yeah, let's make ourselves look fabulous. God, I am... My chest is killing me. Are we making more? It looks so much better. Venba, are you home? What did the doctor say? So the boss didn't even consider it? Unless a miracle happens, I say we'd start packing. What? What's with you? You never tell me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Uh, okay. Eat this again? Ah! What's gotten into you today? That slap was... Oh, <gasps> she preggers! She pregante. So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive though. And we're barely scraping by as it is. God, this game is so real. We can't provide everything other parents would be able to. I think it's just the art style. Lingers. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. But then they could re resent us for taking away this opportunity. <sighs> Deep. What do you think, Venba? Why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. It's very funny to see you worried like this. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Parvalan. Don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? True. Oh, this makes me think about kids myself. Being outshone by one's children is a universally desired form of sweet something. I couldn't read quick enough. God, we already had a kid. My name is Parvalan, sir. Parvalan, sir. Kevin. Where did you run off to? Sir, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir. I don't have time to play, Kevin. I have a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. I manage transport of hundreds of units of in inventory per day. Pardon me, sir. Kevin, there you are. What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape. Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No, I like it. That job was in India, sir, but... Kevin, wait there. Don't run. <laughs> Kevin, come back here. This has become a routine now. <laughs> the way she just strolls. Yes, sir. Bachelor of Science in Physics, sir. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> I mean that as like, hey yo, hey yo, that towel is so dirty, da. Here, wear the skirt, kinda. No, but sir, you can just take me on a probation period, maybe. I'm driven, self-started, and a quick learner, sir. Put this on, kinda. Hurry up now. But I don't want to speak in Tamil, Kevin. I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Please, Kana. I understand, sir. Yes. Good boy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. Jeez. He really begs. So I'm guessing when the text is yellow, they speak in English. Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. They didn't buy the hundreds of units of inventory story. I'm telling you, it's time for it to go. Time for it to go. I'll go for the top option. 
That's not entirely untrue. I helped out in a grocery store when I was 12 and you were paid in candy. Ah, uh, well, I've only worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that here. Not with my English. I spend half these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Kevin. If I can understand those shows, maybe I can understand those these people too. This is very true. This is how, honestly, if you guys want to learn a language, watch cartoons to start off with because it, it just helps. Yay, we can watch Batman together, Appa. Yes, but your son is going to forget Tamil at this rate. Did you know his friends call him Kevin? What's wrong with that? Speak in Tamil, da. Well, what's wrong with that? It's only one letter that's different anyways. That's why we picked it. We thought it'd be easy on you growing up here. Your father and I spent months agonizing over so many other names. If it's only one letter different, why is it so hard for your friends to say it? And Kevin means beautiful. It's such a lovely name and it suits you so well. I don't want to be beautiful. I just want to be Kevin. <sighs> He's brighter than us, Fenver. He's learned to adapt. We haven't. You know he aced yesterday's English quiz. He did? Really? Good job. We should celebrate, Darkana. What do you want to eat? We'll make something special. Oh, can we order pizza? Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I want pizza. How about something better? How about we make something else? How about something better? Like parota. Dosa. Oh, I love dosa. Dosa is so good. Idiampa. I don't know that. Idiapam. Any of you recognize these foods? I'm only like subtly versed in Indian food. Ghee dosa? I love dosa so much. Biryani? I love biryani. Kari dosa? No, I'm tired of all these. I said I want pizza. Extra cheese. Extra toppings. You eat pizza all the time. Kevin, have you ever had putu? No. What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. Reminds me of a rocket. Rocket? Yes, a lot of steam comes out when you make it. It looks like a rocket launching. It does? Yeah. But you know what? Let's just order pizza. There's no rocket, but since you get a nice cardboard box. <laughs> Reverse psychology. <laughs> Would it really look like a rocket launch? Do you want to see? She's smart. All right, let's get started. I haven't made this before, but Alma has a recipe on it. Hopefully it's readable. Where's the rocket? We need to make the flower first, da. I love it. This is so cute. Rice and water blend. Separate fine rice from chunks. Sprinkle chunks over something. One. Combine 500 grams of fine rice with water. All right, let's make some flour. When do we get to the rocket part? Soon, da. Be patient. Uh, so we need to blend it. Oh God. Okay, it's blended there. Blended rice. Separate fine rice from chunks. I should shake the sieve over the towel to catch everything. I've done that very wrong, I think. Something chunks over the blah one. Just blend the chunks again and repeat. Oh, 
Do it again. Just keep doing it. There we go. There we go. I think this is perfect. Why does it feel like flour even though there wasn't there was so much water? We have to mix the water and flour little by little. The final consistency should feel like slightly wet sand. Oh, so we did it wrong. Or we did it fine. Alright, that wasn't too hard. Emma, when will we get to see the rocket? There we go. Oh my god. The coconut layers as far away from each other as possible. Alright, this is straightforward. Assemble the parts so that water steam so that water steams and cooks what's above. Tricky part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needed. And in what order coconut can crumble easily. God. So put the flour first, then the coconut. But if they they need to be as far away as possible from each other, then no. Water first. Mold. That's uh, not a great sounding thing. Oh, okay. So I think we put coconut. Then that. Putu putu. Coconut. Putu putu. Then coconut. Music is a vibe. I love it. Let's go. It's launch time, Kevin. Useful. Useful. Wow. That was so cool. Remember, I can't believe it didn't fall. Ah, ma. Can we do that again? Easy. God, that looks so good. Stop making me hungry. We are unable to offer you our secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply next year. Yikes. Well then. Is he asleep? I think so. Kevin? Yes, he is. Good. So that interview. Another dead end? Yeah. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. We'll keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. <sighs> well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. See you, Ali. What? I know you don't like Shuresh, but I think you should take that sales job at his company. <sighs> it's all about who you know here. And we barely know anyone. We're not in a position to pick and choose our help. <sighs> I thought moving here would be a chance to start over. That even here we still have to beg people like Shuresh. It's not begging, I know. I'll call him tomorrow. Thank you. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the way you sold Kevin on the putu today. You're really good with kids. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching back home. It makes me worry about Kevin. Why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up. Get them in the mood to learn, you know? But it's harder here. What does that have to do with Kevin? I just feel like that there's a wall between me and my class. I can't connect with them. They lead very different lives than we did. 
and I feel that same wall growing around Kevin. How do you mean? What if I can't connect with Kevin? It's so hard to even talk to him. It just feels like he's growing further away from us. This is so deep. The other day he told me he wished he had his own room like his friends. He said he needs his privacy. What five year old needs privacy? Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. <sighs> well, it's more than just that. He doesn't eat lunch at school. He's not interested in anything we do. He doesn't eat lunch at school. He brings it back every day with some excuse. I don't know if I'm going to move my camera. Oh, God, that is not working. No. <laughs> Whoopsie, I'll need to fix that. We'll make me small for now anyways. I don't know if the other kids make fun of him for it or if he's embarrassed. I don't know. I'm worried. These things bother me too. But we choose to bring him up here. Huh? We choose to... Uh, what did I say? But we chose to bring him up here, not him. Yeah. We did it because we thought we'd have a better life here. And he does. This place comes with better education and opportunities. But it also comes with its own culture, language, values. We can't pick and choose the ones we want and then ask him to ignore from the others. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? <sighs> yes, maybe. It's just scary. Don't worry, Vember. He'll turn out just fine. How are you so sure? He's our child. How else will he turn out? So cute. Hmm. Those fallen from their resolve are stripped of respect, like hair fallen from the head. 95. Go on. Tell her. His name is Pavalan. He's my dad. E-A-A-V-A-L-A-N. She says Appa is not at the office. Does she know what time he left? Do you know when my dad left the office? Okay, well, does she at least know if he came in today? Did you see my dad today? Ask her if he usually leaves with anybody. Maybe we can call them. Does he usually go home with someone? She says no, dad usually leaves alone and he's very quiet. She says all the sales stuff left at 5 p.m. today. She says he must have left then too. Okay, thank you. Uh oh. Where is Appa? Where is our dad? Why are we walking through the park, Emma? Do you think Appa will be here? I don't know, Kana. Sometimes your Appa loves to walk instead of taking the bus. If he decided to walk home from the office, it should be through here. But the lady said Appa, Appa left at five. What's taking him so long? Do you think he went somewhere else first? But where would he go for this long? I don't know, Kevin. Enough with your questions. Sorry, Kana. I'm just worried about Appa. Why are you worried? Do you think something happened to him? No, no, I'm sure he's fine. You don't have to stay quiet, Kevin. Here, you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But only if you ask it in Tamil, okay? Oh, okay, I can do that. Ahem, <laughs> okay. Okay, I can do that. Why did that lady say that Appa is very quiet? He talks a lot at home. And look at you go. See, you can speak Tamil when you want to. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's that they don't talk to him. 
What do you mean? Ah, oh, nothing. He doesn't really like his job, Kevin. Maybe that's why. He was a writer back home, right? Did he like his job then? Oh yes, he loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? Well, he always writes when something bothers him. Back home, that used to be every day. Maybe you should bug him more. Ooh, how did you end up and meet? Hmm? You know I'm named after a type of poem, right? Yes, Appa told me. A Vember's uh, kind of like a haiku. The private school where I was teaching was treating both staff and students terribly. No proper equipment or rooms and horrible pay. So we organized a protest. We had signs and boards and dozens of people. One day we were told a reporter wanted to interview us. We thought this was a big break, but he was the shabbiest person I'd ever seen. He looked like he had just woken up. Was it Arthur? Yes. Still, I answered all his questions and hoped for the best. A week later, we all read the article that came out in the magazine, but it wasn't an article. It was a poem. It was a Venba, a gorgeous one too. It was about the school, the students, our protests, and it was about me. Aww. Somehow, people could ignore our protests, but they couldn't ignore the poem. It received a lot of attention, and as a result, so did our protest. The school was forced to change, and I was smitten. Cute. Why did you move here? True. Why did you move here? It wasn't an easy choice. Harvalan wanted to be with me. And I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. But a lot of people took issue with us being together. And they decided to make it our problem. It was getting really hard to deal with. So we gambled on a fresh start here and took it. Amma, I see Appa. <coughs> What's wrong with him? Married. What's happening? Oh shit. Oh shit, was he beat up? Oh god, he was. It's so real. I hate it. Is he? I thought he went to the hospital, but he's still there. Hey, what the frick? What happened? Nothing, no matter how dear, should be sought at the expense of one's honour. 2006. Oh my god, our little boy is not little anymore. <gasps> Look at us. Okay, I just finished cutting up the onions too. Yeah, you got that right. Because someone's definitely cutting onions in here. I think you should have everything you need. Yes, thanks, Pa. Wait, his glasses? You're telling me in 10 years he didn't get a new pair of glasses. That's wild. To be fair, they're struggling with money, so. I'll go help Kevin pack. Oof. 
Oh wow. You're making a curry? Biryani gravy. No instructions. Okay, this recipe is completely unreadable. Layered biryani is really fancy. I've never made it that way before. I've seen Amma make it the night before we left India. Maybe I can try remembering them. Remember, I had all these ingredients first. These ingredients, so expensive. Amma, why are you going through all of this trouble? It's okay, dear. It's a big thing to leave another country. I don't know when I'll be able to cook for you again. Remember, add all of these ingredients first. Okay, cool. There's a logic to the order you add these four ingredients in. You want all of them to fry in the oil nicely, but the ingredient you add first will always fry more in the oil than the next one you add. Right, so if I want the onions to turn golden brown, they need to be fried the most. And remember, once you add tomatoes, they release so much water, it's hard for anything to fry after. This is very true with general cooking. Uh, wait, you add the herbs first? Sure, okay. Fennel seeds? Can we turn this down? I feel like this is gonna burn. Fennel seeds. Oh my god, the sound effects are so good. Ah, uh, I never get tired of how great toasted whole spices smell. Emma, I wish you could see how much these cost here. <laughs> You would lose your mind over these prices. You're not wrong. When do we add? Surely we add like the spices last. Now the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. That order is important. Then add water and let it reduce. Uh, how am I going to remember all of this? Am I? I've added all of these instructions to the recipe book I gave you. Lull. Good luck with that. Okay, so the onions should go in first. What is this? Ginger garlic paste? I don't know. Chilies, probably. Then the tomatoes last. Of course the tomatoes going last. You went through a lot of trouble for the recipe book, Amma. I'm sorry I couldn't take better care of it. But I'm fixing these now and I hope Kevin can appreciate it when I cook these. If he ever does. Um, and then we add all this first. Ah, uh, it smells divine. I think we just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes and then we can start the layering. I'm so hungry. Gravy is done. And that's all. All that's left is a biryani. Let's hope I can finish it before Kevin leaves. Leaves? For where? Is he going uni? Biryani. Rice. Layered biryani. Once done, let it sit in a low flame for 30 minutes. One, two, and then three. At least the second part is salvageable. I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, seal tightly, and let it simmer together. One, two, three might refer to different layers of gravy, rice, and other things. Hope you had a good shower, Spoon. But in what order? Maybe I can try to remember. Please. Yo, Molly, Chef Kyle, indeed. Thank you. How are you? Hi, Chef Kyle Gold Kuwait. Hi, Chef Kyle. My rice isn't cooked enough. I'm sorry. It's fucking raw. Hi, Sai. How are you? Is it raw? This is a great game. 
so um what was i gonna say this game is really cool it's about this family that lives in canada who are like just trying to get through daily life and like struggling being differently having a different culture to canadians like they're indian they speak tamil but we're also cooking and their child is growing up in canada it's really really good so far it's very cute ah, i see we just add all of these together on top of the rice layer and that's the final layer yes what's wrong Amma? oh Amma, why are you crying you know we'll visit often and once things are better we'll come back here this is our home where else will we go i know kana it's just so far away uh your raw rice made her cry how day oh okay the final layer is literally all of those ingredients and rice is the bottom ingredient Mm. Okay. I'm not too sure what order. God's cashews. I need to remember and look at what is it. It's really difficult to make out what all that stuff is. Let's put rice. Oh crap. No, it's not rice. I don't even know what else we layer. Cilantro, probably. Basil, maybe? I don't know. Normally, you would do it like this. Nope. This is not right. Have you watched Delicious in Dungeon on Netflix? No, what is that? What is Gee? G? I've probably done this all wrong. I don't think this is the right sequence. It's like butter, it's clarified butter. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did not do that in the right order. So it's a G that needs to be added. Can we not add more G? Bruh. Okay, well. I don't know what we layer. I've done this so wrong. So it looks like the fried onions go on top. I don't know what else. One and two. Hey. Types of biryanis. Yeah. Biryanis are so fun to make and can be made in so many different ways. Every state in India has its own biryani and they all swear it's the best. Amma always loved the Hyderabadi, Hyderabadi biryani I'm making today. Uh, it's almost like I should Google it because <laughs> I don't know how to make this. <laughs> ah. So the rice has to be too, right? I think. But then I don't know what one is. I don't know because there's nothing you can add like twice. Has the rice always got on the bottom? Yikes. <laughs> I'm gonna ask for a hint. Hmm, this is hard. I could really use a hint. <laughs> the game really makes you be like, are you sure? Are you really sure? I should scoop out a layer of beef. Using the empty bowl. Oh, right. Okay, okay, okay. Right. I was wondering what that was. 
Okay, so one has to be... Yes. Okay. Boom. 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 And then everything else. I think this is right. Oh, looks so good. Just have to cover it with the lid now. Okay, I think this is it. Just need to keep the flame very low and let it all cook together. I love biryani. It's one of my favorite dishes. The rice was fully absorbed, all the moisture from the gravy, deepening the flavoring. I can't wait. I did not read that right, but that's okay. Should be good now. <sighs> Stop. Stop. It looks so good. Family beef. Mm-hmm. I'll be sniffing too. Uh, stop it. Uh, yeah, it's also what I would normally order. I love biryani. How is it? Oh, so good. Beef really is the best. Uh, knife and fork. Oh, it's really good, Hammer. I'm glad. I won't get many chances to cook for you again like this. Uh, Amma, stop being so dramatic. I'm just moving out for university. Yes, Kana, but we'll miss you. Have you packed everything? It's a long drive. We might have to get gas on the way. Oh, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all. So I'll be going with them. Oh, yikes. This way, you and Appa won't have to drive all day. We want to see the university. I was looking forward to, dr to the drive. Want to see the uni. I thought it'd be nice to see all the classrooms and buildings. You can give us a tour. It's not a hassle at all for us to drive you. We'd love to. It's just more convenient. It's, there's nothing to tour, really. Just a bunch of grey buildings. Oh, Kana. Sure. Did I even get any of the meat pieces? Uh, maybe we can drive you there next week. Drop off some food. Oh, I almost forgot. Will your friend's car have enough space for some containers? I don't know. Why? I've packed a lot more of the biryani. I've also packed some poddies, pickles, and sweets. Did she give all the pieces to Kevin? <laughs> the dad's so focused on the food. I'm a... I can't take that in the car. Why not? I packed for your friends too. You can all eat. Oh no. Is he going to say what I think he's going to say? Amma, they don't want biryani and the whole car will smell. There we go. I was waiting for it. I don't want them in my dorm either. <gasps> you don't want any of it? Kevin, I put a lot of effort into making all of this this week. I didn't ask you to. Why are you getting mad? I know you didn't ask, but what will you even eat there? I don't know. There are cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. I'll figure it out. I can't believe she gave him all the pieces. <laughs> I'm just eating kus kushka here? Kushka here. That's not healthy, Kevin. You can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing that. I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, you're not. Why don't you just take some of it? You don't have to eat it. I said no, Amma. I'm done with this. This is a fresh start for me. I don't want to smell like Little India anymore. Oof, fucking hell. This is so real. I just want to be normal. For once. Kana? The language you speak. The food you eat. The clothes you wear. Only you should decide that, Kevin. You don't have to change who you are for us. But just be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else either. There's a wonderful and beautiful culture that's part of you. It would be a shame if you choose not to be a part of it. Just because you think it's not normal. Then why did we even move here? We should have just stayed in India. Fucking hell. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to yell. It's just, there's no need to create any fuss over any of this. It's not like you're never going to see me again. I'll visit often, okay? Okay. And I'll call every week too. So please try not to worry, okay? Okay. 
Damn. Is that them? Yes, I think so. Who is that girl? I've never seen her before. Smart kid. This is why he didn't want us to drive him. Chip off the old block. <laughs> there he goes. I suppose it's good that he's so independent and makes his own choices, even if they are so incorrect. Our choices were mostly made for us already. Whatever he chooses, at least, it'll be his own decision. We just have to wait patiently for him to come back to us. Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like the old times. We are unable to offer you our secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply next year. Ugh. Oh, did Kevin reach a university? Did he text or call yet? No, but we told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yes. Well, maybe he hasn't got... Oh, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He just said he forgot to inform us and hurried to hang up. Ah, uh, well, it's a big day after all. I'm sure he has a lot going on there. Uh, sure, let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother anymore. He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamil. He doesn't even want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Yes, you're right. Oh, wait. He forgot his headphones in his room. I was going to bring it to him sometime next week. But maybe we should just let him pick it up whenever he's here next. Oh, he did? Of course, not pav Pavlin. We should help if we can. He uses those headphones all the time. It'll be hard for him without that. What? Oh, you made that up. Is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards Kevin? That's what being a parent is, I suppose. When Kevin says he wants to pursue writing, I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I wanted to show him all the works that inspired me and all the poems and stories that I love. And the ones you wrote too? All the stories you read to him as a child were just ones you wrote on the spot. Yes, but I doubt he even remembers that. I don't even know if he can read Tamil literature, much less understand it. I used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special right things his roots have to offer. But after that night in the park, maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in any way. And I don't think we can blame him for that. I guess it wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. It's hard for Kevin to be who he really wants to be here. Maybe you should have stayed. If you're going to suggest I would have been better off not moving here with you, my anger is not going to be anything but fleeting. But come on. I know how much you miss home. Wouldn't you be happier back there? If I felt like I didn't have anyone, then yes, maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Kevin, and I have you. I'm as where you two are. So wholesome. So cute. Longing for those who have forsaken you diminishes the beauty of the soul. Wait, he graduated? I think he graduated the year I started uni. Oh, look at us. And I'm perfectly blocking. Nice. I'll just move. Ah, oh, frick. I want to move, but God. My stuff is broken. Okay, you can see us now. One final meal. Is he coming home? What's happening?
bowl. Okay. Ah, what did I do? I accidentally clicked off the game. Can I not grab that one yet? Are these not all cooked at the same time? There we go. I don't even know what I'm cooking right now. But we've turned into cooking mama expert. For those Jalebi, I do not know, Mella. I'll be honest. <laughs> That's why I asked if y'all have seen this food before or heard of it then please let me know because i don't recognize all of this i'm hoping we make dosa i don't know what we're making right now oh this is close to burning how are you mellow Ultra sweet fried things. They're so yummy, but damn. Munch honey. Let me quickly restart the capture card because I have a feeling it's been a bit weird. <laughs> My poor vegan eyeballs. You really covered that, huh? I'm really good, thank you. We should be done with this game soon, I think. Probably after this. That must be Glee. Oh, aren't those like... I've forgotten what those seeds are called. Mm. I can smell the food already. Oh, well, it was coconut. I like that this skips all the boring stuff, like the prep. Oof. Oh my god. Stop. Mm. 
Oh god, I'm so cold. It's been so long since we played Baldur's Gate 3, so I'm looking forward to playing that. I wonder if Nara and Reese are here. I'm not gonna lie, Indian is some of my favorite food. Just sad because it's quite expensive to get Indian takeout in Germany. Really? Indian takeout is like really affordable generally here in the UK. It's so good as well. I love biryanis. Korma is nice. I love Peshwari naan. Hi Nara. Time for some spam. Get all that salami hand. <laughs> Thanks Nara. Salami, how gold, the blessing gold, the hard gold, the hay gold, the hype gold, the hype the gold, the love gold, the car gold, the H gold. Peshwari Nan is busted. Two thousand and twenty unity pride, dragon pride, hey pride, pain pride, penguin pride, rhino pride, pride, no, uh, hype block, hype unicorn, five hype fog, hype yum, hype ko, hype rock, hype sus, hype unicorn, two Doritos, chip Doritos, chip Doritos, chip Doritos, chip dino, dance dino, dance dino, dance dino, dance. Finally, Jesus. Ooh, I'll cook your favorite mutton. Oh my god, look at our son. How grown up he is. Hi, Amma. Thank you so much. Sure, Amma. I have a lot of plans today, but I think I can stop by for a bit later tonight. Super. Sorry, Amma. Something came up last minute and I can't make it tonight. <gasps> Yikes. After all that. Bruh, we made a freaking feast. Germany is very big on Greek, Chinese and Turkish food. Indian is just not as popular in Germany, that's fair. Yeah, I know Turkish is like huge in Germany. What happened to our partner, our husband? What's his name? Ravalan? Savalan? We are happy to inform you that your application for the secondary pos teacher position has been accepted. Nice. Is he dead? Bro, I'll be well upset. Without one's dignity, one becomes a puppet to many strings bachelor of arts hey. yo that's hey. hype the exact vibe i was looking for great but just so you know it's not usually hung inside the house who the frick is chris My dad just liked to hang it inside. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just needed something unique and interesting here. By the way, for the school lunch scene. I was thinking it'd be cool if it was like a super diverse table of kids and they're all shared food from their different cultures. What do you think you should... What do you think? Priya's lunch should be... Chicken tikka, spicy vindaloo, maybe. Well, Priya's Tamil, so probably none of those. Yeah. What if we show her eating nothing? Yeah. Like, I would bring my lunch a lot, lol. Yeah. I was too embarrassed to eat it at school. Yeah. Maybe we can touch up, touch upon that. Oh. That might not fit the tone of the show. 
it's just a fun scene that celebrates different cultures and cuisines that really represents Toronto. You must have a favorite dish your mum made or something, right? Just feels weird for me to write a scene where she isn't even a bit apprehensive about the lunch. I was terrified to open the lid. To even open the lid. Oh, no, I can't read quick enough. Sure. Yeah, I'll check my mother's recipe book. <gasps> no. Did we die? What is this all about? Hey, Kevin, I just wanted to ask if you had any cool references for set designers as they design Priya's home. It's called, <coughs> it's called Venba and it's on Game Pass. They can do their own research for sure, but maybe there's something cool you have in your home. Something cultural and potentially obscure. Oh, I don't know, man. You've seen my apartment. It's all movie posters and games. There has to be something you remember growing up with your parents, right? Oh, yeah. Actually, my mum left me a box of stuff before she left to India. <gasps> oh, she's gone back to India. Damn. Doom scroll. Yay. I read all the texts. Okay. If I have to give them a recipe, the least I can do is ensure it's authentic. It would feel like I was worried for nothing as a kid, right? I can't believe Amma didn't take the recipe book with her when she left to India though. Whoa, it looks like she fixed a lot of these recipes. I can't read Tamil very well, but let's see. Oh, Idilis. This is Puto. Right. My camera is in the perfectly incorrect place here. I'm just going to hide this then you guys can read it a bit. Oh, I remember making this with Amma and Appa. That was fun. Biryani, of course. Appa's favorite. Natu Kozi Kulambu? That's like chicken soup, I think. She made this for me one time when I was really ill. This is the only thing I could eat without throwing up. I must have been around five then. I still remember the taste, the smell. And the day she made it, there was a phone call from India. The cooker was whistling. Amma fed it to me, but I think she was upset about something. I wonder what it was. Anyways, if I'm going to feature this recipe in the show, I better cook it once at least. Oh, how helpful. She's drawn cute pictures of the ingredients needed. I'll go pick those up first and then I can start putting it together. Nice. Nice. Ooh, tamarind paste. Where's the music? We need music. Yikes. Okay, we can't read this now. Because it's in Tamil. It's Tamil. I can't really read this, but thankfully there's a diagram. It looks like I have to mix a tamarind with the water to extract its essence multiple times. Um, is Tamil the most spoken language in India? I know there's, I know Tamil's up there, I think. And there's Punjabi and some others. Looks like I have to mix a tamarind with the water to extract its essence multiple times. How do I mix it? Alright, that's how you mix it. Oh, the water really changed colour. I could add more water directly to this bowl, but that might dilute the extracted water. I need to find a way to separate the extracted water and the tamarind. Here we go. Do it again. How many times? Do that three times. 
Really? Tamil is the fifth most spoken language. I don't know why I assumed it was more. Also, isn't really changing colour that much anymore. I think I've gotten everything I can from the tamarind. Let me add it to the other bowl and see. Yeah, Hindi is huge, isn't it? Bengali. Marathi? I don't know Marathi or Telugu. I speak it a lot in Sri Lanka. Ah, okay. That's as much as I think I'm going to get. I hope this means the tamarind water is ready. On to the next thing. Yikes. Okay, well, there's no diagrams in this one. My Tamil isn't the most fluent, so I might not be able to translate this fully, but maybe I can do it step by step. I think I can make out a few of these words. Post both of the grains first. Nice. Just have to figure out the missing parts. And we can go step by step. Although I don't really see any grains. Did I mistranslate something? Grains. Chilies. What does that do? Reset everything? Grains. Is there anything else? Maybe it's garlic and chili. I mean, chili you would generally put in first. And shallots you would also put in first. Were both the things I added grains? What else could it be? I don't know. Powder, surely not. Ah, it's seeds, not grains. India is such a big country, even the fifth most spoken language is spoken by more people than the UK's population. Mad. I can't count the number of times I've woken up to the sound though. I was already smelling so good. Oh, I can read this part easily. Next, add red leaves and green chilies. Oh, I must have my words for red and green switch around. On to the next step. Add minced meat? Question mark. There's no mincer. And crushed ginger and garlic. Smells so good. It's usually around this time Amma one has me waving away all the steam from the smoke that protects it. Hmm. What gives out water? First add that creates water, and then add the water itself. Oh, right, tomatoes. Fine, it seems to release a lot of water. So that's what the tamarind water is for. No idea what this says, but I need two ingredients left. So add blank and blank to taste. The smell is really taking me back. Amma was upset because oh of the phone call she got from home what was it what was the phone call oh stop i think i remember now looks so good why did her mum die or something i'm sorry Appa. i'm sorry i'm not there I know. I thought she was getting better. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you more money soon. No, no, it's okay. Let me at least be of use this way. Can't read this part either, but there's not much to this. Just put everything in and cook it, I guess. Bone in chicken. Sure.
Pepsi? I should turn this on after I get everything in. What do you mean? I've literally put... Oh. There we go. I was about to say I put everything in. Uh, no, this will go well. We'll see. If only cooking was this quick in real life, save a lot of time. To keep going. Whoa, that looks fantastic. Chicken stock always has a golden gala, but the turmeric is making it look extra nice. Oh man, should we even feature this in the show? Some corporation is going to start selling an overpriced turmeric chicken stock after watching this. Okay, last step. We just have to mix these two together, I suppose. Last time is usually water, but here it's fresh chicken stock instead. That's really cool. Wow. I wonder how Chris will describe this to the team. An exotic take on a chicken soup made from a variety of spices and aromatics. Ugh, gross. Ugh. That animation. Ugh. That looks great, Amma. A lot easier than I thought. Let's see if it tastes anything like that day. The memories come flooding back. Oh, there we go. Amma? Amma, why are you sad? It's nothing. Did I do something wrong? Hmm? Oh no, Connor. Not at all. I just... I heard from home. Your grandmother. Mama loves her a lot. But sometimes people have to leave and go far away. And Alma will just miss her. Why is she leaving? natural Kevin everyone leaves someday us too it all happened to everyone I won't leave you Emma or Appa so wholesome are you gonna go back to India any recipe updates Hey, Raiden. Do it. Call her. A humble porridge can taste sweeter than nectar when fed by the little hands of one's child. They're even wearing our dad's glasses. It's so cute. Yeah, I told you I'm terrible at this. It's easy, easy, Kevin. Listen, it's all about temperature control with Dosa. Oh, we're making Dosa. I love Dosa. Starts twerking. I mean, this is vibey music. First, pour water on the stone to reduce the heat. Next, set the fire to the low setting. Pour the batter, and since the stone isn't hot, you can spread the batter easily. Add oil around the edges and turn up the heat. 
This will fire the batter and make it easy to flip once it edges around. Then it's done. Easy, right? Yeah, for you. Another disaster <laughs> coming up. I love it. Um, yeah, you're going to have to run me through that again, Chief. I think we add water and then oil to the edges. What's this? A dose of flipper. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, I put the water in. Oh, the temperature. Whoops. Well, this is going to fail. I forgot to turn down the temperature. Also, I don't know what's happening. Oh, right. Do I have to rotate it? Okay, there we go. It's banned. Did I spread the batter wrong? You spread the batter fine, but you forgot to do something before spreading. Let me try again. Water. You say water temp, batter oil. Okay. Right, how did I miss that last time? Anyways. It looks so good. And then we flip eventually. Oh, way too early. Well, almost. What did I do wrong? You got the first part right, but before you flip, it's crucial to add uh, and turn to high. Okay, fine. This is a hard. Clearly, they're very hard to make. That's why I love them so much. Yep, that would make a difference. Oh, it looks so good. Stop. Oh my god. I did it. Good job. Ready to try something harder? No. Are you ready to try awesome -bam? -bam now? The doser will be a bit thicker this time, so we can lay all the vegetables. Oh, this will be like the pizza one, right? With all the toppings? Yes. Not really, though. <laughs> Rotate. Okay, now the toppings. Do I have to add all of them? Actually, you can just add whatever you like. Everyone's or tap um, is different. Just make sure to add G first. Okay, we'll add G. And then do we increase the heat like last time before flipping? Probably. I'm just adding everything. Sure. Not too bad. So can you actually wait for it to properly get brown? I presume after a while it will burn. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I see? I told you it's easy. I haven't made this in a while. This was your upper's favorite. Kari dosa is dosa with minced meat. Yes, exactly. We're, we're doing it with mutton here, but you can do it with chicken, beef, or whatever you like. Uh, tofu for me, thanks. Or other stuff, I say. Did you just say G? G? Good job, Kevin. Did I say G? I'm confused. Now we can start adding the curry toppings. 
like Utapamam. Utapam. You want to add the G first. Oh, is it not G? Is it G? Then add the beaten egg as a co thing. Followed by the actual Kari. Oh, it's G? Okay. Add the beaten egg as a co thing. Followed by the actual Kari and finish it with coriander. Okay, egg first. Wait, I forgot. And I say ghee first. Ah, my brain. Ghee first. Okay. And I say it stop you from messing up. Whoa. How oh, lovely. Like geezer. Geezer. What geezer? Yummy. It's like making pancakes. You guys do this on pancake day? The number one down. This is fun. Yeah, it really is. The funny cooking was this fun. You're doing great, Kevin. You can start your own dosa restaurant when you go back. I know, right? I could probably run the best one. If there were restaurants that can serve doses like this back there, you wouldn't have missed home so much and left her. Huh? I came here for more than just doses, Kevin. Oh yeah, of course. I was just joking. Oh. Okay, well, you start eating these. I'll make the rest and then join you. Oh no, no, no. I'll do it. Otherwise they'll get cold before you can eat them. Well, won't they get cold for you then? Let me do it this one time at least. Sure, Kevin. Beautiful. Fermented feelings. Ama, I have something to show you. The recipe book? This is Ama's recipe book. Have you been using it? Wait, I didn't fix some of these. You fix those too? And you wrote in Tamil? This is great, Kevin. This is all research. Is this all research for that show you're writing? No, Amma. Actually, I quit that job. Oh, why? I couldn't write what they wanted. I felt like a fraud. I took the job because it was the first place that would hire me. I suppose the showrunners felt I could offer a Tamil perspective, but I've distanced myself from all of that my entire life. I couldn't even speak the language fluently. What perspective can I even offer? I've acted like being Tamil was inconvenient for me my whole life. But now I'm acting Tamil when it is convenient for me? When there's a job on the line? I couldn't deal with it. I had no idea you felt this way. You're being unfair. I had no idea you felt this way. It's true, Amma. I'm just a tourist, and I wasn't there for you after Appa, and every time I wanted to apologize, I just felt too guilty to even face you. You've always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much it must have hurt for you to come back here. How much I must have hurt you, and Appa. It was so sudden. I always thought there would be time to tell him how much he inspires me. Even the stories he made up when I was a child and read them to me until I finally slept. My writing can't hold a candle to that. If I'm writing today, it's because of him. I'm still just trying to catch up to him. Who's cutting onions, guys? That's not why I came here, Kevin. You didn't? I came here because that's what's best for me. And even though it hurt me, it's what's best for you. What do you mean? I loved living here. 
the people, my parents, my job, everything. Leaving India was necessary, but really hard. I felt bad for leaving. And I missed it so much that I wanted to raise you like you were never, like you, we never left here. It must have been suffocating for you. And after Pavilion, well, coming back here and teaching all these kids has been great. If I stayed there, I don't think I could have given you the space you needed. Thanks, Sama. How long are you staying for? I don't know, Amma. But this is nice. What about you? Do you think you'll ever come back to Canada? I don't know, Canada. But this is really nice. Is that it? What a beautiful game! Oh my god. It was so nice. Oh, Molly beat you to it. Unlucky, Dave. Got me all emotional at the end. That was lovely. That was amazing. What a beautiful cut. What do you mean? This was so nice. And it was so real as well. Oh my God. Like talking about very real issues that some people face. So I loved it. And the gorgeous art style. The story was lovely. Ah. Oh yeah, they can be super good. This was just like an hour and a half-ish. That was lovely. Based on the writer's life, that would make sense. And it was short and sweet. Love short and sweet games. Okay. Is Reese back yet? Because we can start playing soon. Said he'll be back by eight. Bagala. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. Where was it? I can't. Yeah, I see it. Got all the emotional. My God. That was so cool. So pretty. Well, GG. Thank you. If you were just watching for Vember, I hope you enjoyed. What a cute, lovely experience. God, I need to fix the scene. I forgot about this. Anyways, I'll see you in the next game, whatever we decide to play. Till then, this is Gold Carrot signing out. Peace.